Hey, Dave Mullins here, Bassmaster Elite Pro. Uh, we're out on Gunnersville today and we're doing my favorite thing, which is summertime and it's deep cranking. And <clears throat> structure fishing, you know, you gotta have pretty much a buffet of lures, but one thing I really like is a deep crank bait. This is a 6XD. 6XD throws good, runs good. The biggest thing for me is a lot of times when you can't get those things to bite, that like you see fish out there uh, on your graph, one of my go-to baits is actually a crankbait. Now, a lot of people like to slow down or something like that, but I like to pound them with a crankbait enough to finally get one to react. And usually when you get one to react, you can get them to bite. So that's my go-to thing is a crankbait, you know, and just making long casts, covering as much water as you can and getting that bait as deep as you can. You know. We'll see if we can't get the one to bite just like that right there. And we've probably made, and that's not a very big fish, but we've, and that's actually a spotted bass. And I've never caught a spotted bass out of Gunnersville. You want me to hold it like this? Look how big, look how big this spot is. And, you know, I could do my Shaw Greasby hand, he can explain that, you know, right there. Spotted bass. What I like, now I'm still kind of old school. Uh, and on reel and a crankbait, and I've, I've, I use a five to one uh, lose. And for years and years, I used the old BB1NG lose, which was like a four three or four six. And I'm just an old school cranker. I like a slow reel, uh, and it doesn't work as hard as a six three. It's just like if I if I use a six three, I can get the bait faster, but it just works me to death. So I like a five one, and I reel it pretty fast. So I can still get the speed out of five one. Plus, you get the torque uh, with the reel as, as opposed to torquing yourself. So. That's why I choose it, so I like a slow reel and a long rod. This is a 7-11 rod. It's got a pretty soft tip on it and uh, just helps get the crankbaits out there. I just had missed one right there. Just helps you allow it to throw farther. You know the, there's no, and the farther you throw it, you know, the deeper it's gonna get, the more fish can, you see that plug, another white. I think that's one of the biggest keys to me winning Douglas is just being able to throw that plug far uh, a long ways. You know, I was catching some of those fish down 28 foot on a 10XD. And a lot of the guys, you know, there's no one asked me, you know, how how deep can you get a 10? And deep as I've ever got a 10, I had a school in 32 foot one time and I caught them every cast on a 10. Had a little bit of wind behind me. You could throw it a long way, but, and that's, is that another spot? Dude, that's another spot. We're on a school of spotted bass on Gunnersville. Probably not the winning stringers you would want on this lake. Look at that, spots, catching spots. Again, when you got them going, especially when it's late summer like this, you need to get a bait back in there as quick as possible because you keep those fish biting. You give them any kind of room and they just kind of spread out. So once you catch one, get it back in there, get to reeling it back down. And hopefully, you know, they don't, they don't leave quick. There's another one. Little better one get up on in here. We're getting better. We've got the spots and the stripes out of the way and we're starting to catch bass. And he's got that eat. That's getting, it's getting a little better. That's, that's more a little thin. You can tell it's summertime spawned out. We got our line up. Again, we got to get back in there quick. On Logan Martin cranking up big and there's another one right there. And this is probably another spot. Actually, this is a white bass is what this is. And there's, look at all the white, there's like 15 white bass with it. That one bite right there's nothing big. That got it. That's a bass. That's a bass. Just caught a white to cast before, now we've got a bass on there. I think it's a bass anyway. Yeah, I believe so. Yep, here it comes. Nice bass. Again, it's almost like, you know, it's almost like sight fishing. You gotta give them a buffet of things to eat. And what triggers one won't trigger another one. That fish there's got it sideways in his mouth. He's not going anywhere. Come here. That's a chunker. You know, that's a, that's a good fish, good health. Look at the gut. You know, that thing's already spawned out a long time ago. It's already healed up and that. So we catch, again, to catch several white bass in a row, throw back in there, catch a really nice large mouth. And again, that's just a prime example of just, you know, competition, whether it be between white bass and bass or bass and bass, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Something gets them triggered, you know, they start seeing some stuff feeding along. There's not been a lot of water pulled today, so they've probably been a little bit lethargic. Got some of those white bass to fire, and you know, and in turn, they made those bass fire too, so. 
Prime example, you know, white bass can help you out sometimes. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yes, sir, nice one. Now he'll probably come off, because he's got one on the top of the head. We've already caught a ton like this all day, so. Come up here, yes. This flake's just absolutely phenomenal. Just chunk after chunk. It's good fish. 